Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of X-Plane 11 Configuration and today now we're going to start talking about installing sceneries. Okay, custom sceneries are a big thing in X-Plane 11 because we don't have the satellite imagery by default that we have in MSFS 2020. Now I know um, <laughs> one, one of my viewers commented on the previous video saying that you know X-Plane 11 is sort of like beating a dead horse and I totally get where you're going with with that. However, x 11 does still have quite a lot of things going for it that FS2020 at the moment does not. Um, stability, the autopilot functionality, the selection of aircraft, the full fidelity aircraft, the scenery options as far as customability, uh, virtual reality, huge one. Um, I'd, I will agree that in time, x 11 is going to start to really feel the pinch of FS2020. As new aircraft come available, as the fidelity gets better, as the stability gets better, as the accuracy in the flight models and the flight computers and, and management systems gets better, um, yes. Um, and then, you know, with uh, open beta v or beta VR already starting, um, yeah, x -Plane's in trouble. Um, they're going to have to really come up with something very innovative and, and, and really redesign the graphics engine, especially just to keep up. Um, so I do agree with that. But at the moment, I think it, it's, it's still got something to be said for it. You know, I think we're waiting, for example, the 737, one of the most popular airliners. You know, the uh, we're waiting, I think, a year at least before we see the 737 from PMDG. And then we have to start talking about what the cost of that's going to be. PMD doesn't exactly have a track record of having cheap aircraft. Um, I have the 737 and 767 and 747 for... P3D, and I remember I think the 737 was 130 some dollars, you know. So it, you know, where we've X Plane 11, you have the Zebo, and the Zebo 737 is absolutely a definitely study level high fidelity aircraft, and it's free. Um, so it, it depends on on what you're looking at. They both have their pros and cons, definitely, um, and that's part of what make, brought me to reinstall it was there's there's options in it that I miss. So anyway, let's get with the rest of today's uh, demonstration here. And so the first thing I've done is I've downloaded and installed a um, scenery pack. Okay, and it came with the Arizona, Utah, Nevada area. Okay, um, and it has the mesh and then we have an overlay. Okay, is what comes with the pack. So basically I downloaded the pack, I unzipped it, these two folders were in it, I simply just copied and pasted them into this custom, custom scenery folder and haven't done anything else since. What we're going to have to watch for is the scenery packs INI. The scenery packs INI tells the simulator in what order to load the different textures, okay? Where when we're in the sim, we see just one solid image, oh wow, look, that looks great, that's the city of Tucson, whatever. That's not how the sim sees it. The sim sees at the bottom layer, just the earth data. Then it sees mountain ranges, terrain, elevation changes, etc. Then it throws buildings on top of it. Then your lights, then your uh, roads, and then your airport goes on top of that. Okay, everything's like a, a build up, you know, a multi-layer cake is the way to think about it. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and see how the sim looks. We haven't touched the INI file yet. I just have it open. And let's see how the sim looks just by default, okay? So all we've done is copied our, our scenery folders into the directory and left them as is. All right, let's go new flight. Start back at Tucson here. Okay, so here we are in the sim. Here's our Cessna, and I'm sure you guys can see a problem. This is supposed to be the city of Tucson. That's supposed to be the main terminal over there. We should have the new tower over here. It looks like we're supposed to be in like a GA parking area. Um, but obviously, this isn't right, right? Nobody would want to fly it like this. So let's go back and find out what's going on. So I'm going to quit the sim. And what we're going to do is all I'm going to do is click on this INI because it's already been loaded. And you'll see Notepad++ tells me that, you know, it's already been uh, modified. Now do I want to reload it? So we hit yes. And we can see our changes. First, here's the mesh. Okay, the mesh is your bottom layer. It's your texturing, it's your layers, or it's your um, elevations, etc. Okay, your overlays is everything that goes on top of that. Now, think about what I just said. Your overlays is everything that goes on top of that. Okay, that's why it's called an overlay. So, what we're, we're going to do is we're going to just hit, we're going to highlight this, hit Control X, puts it on the clipboard but removes it, delete the extra entry, come above it, Enter again. We can do it as many times as you want. It reloads it to back to its original position. 
and paste it above. Okay? And that's where we're going to stop there. We're going to hit save and reload the sim. All right, so now we're back. Let's go back into a free camera mode. Lift up. And now things are starting to look a bit better here. But we're still not quite right. Okay? So we have more of the outlying area now. That's better. We have our trees. We have our roads. But the airport's missing. Well, again, let's go back and look at our INI &I and find out why. So again, we're going to quit. So, let's reload. And that's fine. You see, it just moved it up a space, but everything's right still where we had it. We have the texture. We saw that. Okay, everything outside looked great. The city looked pretty good. All the buildings were there, trees, etc., mountain ranges. But the airport was missing. Well, that tells us that there's something sitting on top of the airport that shouldn't be. That guy right there. So, since we're using the default runway at the moment, the default Tucson airport, we're going to cut that guy out. I'm gonna enter down again. And I'm going to throw that on top of everything else. Okay? Because that was the only part that was missing was our airport. So now we're going to hit save again. And you don't have to worry about cleaning up all these spaces or anything like that. It will do it the next time it loads. And now immediately we can tell something has changed. So let's go back to our free roam camera. And let's pick up. Alright, so what do we have now? Now we have our terminals, our buildings. There's a runway. Got the terminal over there. That's the old air traffic control tower. There's the new tower. That was just built recently. Okay, so it looks pretty good. But if you guys haven't seen yet, there's still something not quite right. Okay, some of these buildings aren't quite where they need to be, right? Um, and if you look at the runway, could you guys imagine rolling down that runway at 140 knots? Okay, it's bumpy, it's rolling. So we have a way to solve that problem built into the sim. What we're going to do is go to settings. Runways follow terrain contours. Require scenery reload. We're going to uncheck that. Hit OK. Then we're going to come up to developer and hit reload scenery. Alright. So we've got that done. Back into our free camera. These roads should still have terrain and things leading to them. But now if you look at the runways, they're nice and flat. Although, we have some weird issues happening over there. So all in all, not bad. Still a couple things to work out. The trucks seem to be okay. Cars are okay. Um, not sure what happened with these airliners over here. We'll try reloading the whole sim here in a minute and seeing if that fixes that issue. But everything looks good coming out. Leaving the airport. No weird large terrain separations coming out over here. I'm not seeing any giant hills or things that shouldn't be there. Let me do this. Let's level or go up a bit. Yeah, it looks pretty good. That's Davis Monthan Air Force Base out there. All right, so not too bad. Okay, it's not perfect. I know it's not FS twenty twenty like everyone's used to now. Um, okay, that's a new one. My boss is apparently sending me something. That was interesting. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm off of work and left my chat window open, but oh well. Um, let's see here. So, I'm going to try to reload the sim and see if that doesn't just fix this problem here. So, we're going to go full stop here. Going to quit. See if this has been reloaded. It did. And so now, let's simply... Start it again. 
Okay, so I restarted the sim completely and you can see the aircraft are all back how they should have been. So that was just a bug in the load. And that makes sense. So when we told it to reload the scenery, it didn't reload the aircraft. That's not a part of the scenery. It's going to be a separate template the service is using to load. Um, so if the scenery is reloaded on top of it and the, um, I should say, ambience um, traffic or static uh, textures aren't reloaded as well, you get the same thing. But anyway, you can see everything's back where it was without any further changes. So Tucson is complete for all intents and purposes. So now let's go ahead and um, take a look at how to enter one of the mower um, So anyway, so that's it for this video. This was very basic. This is for trains and textures that uh, don't require any third parties. In the next one, I'll show you how we deal with some of the airports that require third parties, such as Mr. X's library and things. All right. So without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next one.